taking away adverse pain from an animal for us is super important. That's my philosophy, I suppose, that we actually need to be, as an industry, ahead of the game. And it's such a wonderful thing that the industry is taking on board is the introduction of human grade pain relief for animals. It's, it's, it's really good and we strongly encourage that and, and all farmers out there to, to take it on board. Tim Leeming, I farm with my wife Georgie and, and two daughters. The property that we run is Paradu Prime. We farm a self-replacing prime lamb enterprise in southwest Victoria, northwest of Hamilton. 25 years ago when I started to manage my own flock and, and my own land, I just didn't really um, agree with mulesing, so we actually changed our genetics at that time, just with one extra cross and a, and a flatter, plainer bodied sheep, we were all able to cease mulesing. Running a, a red meat business, or a, a prime lamb business, is in reducing wastage and, and making sure that your, your animals are fit and healthy is, is really paramount to your production system. So the better your animals are performing and the better that they can um, reach their optimum potential genetically and the importance of economic viability of our business, it goes hand in hand. So. If you look after your livestock and make sure that they're not suffering from pain, that they're fit and healthy, that you're feeding them the optimum amount of nutrition at the right times of the year, then it's a win-win situation. You know, with recently in the last sort of five years, we've we've used products such as Num Nuts, which we were just you know so keen to use. Soon as it, with that, that's why we sort of put up a hand early in the piece as a as a property to trial that um, product. We've actually just trialled a combination of Num Nuts and, and Medicam, which we think is probably um, the gold standard, really, for pain relief and sheep. You know, we know that we can, if we survive, you know, six or seven lambs in a thousand because we use, you know, human grade pain relief, and, and those, those six or seven lambs actually survive, the process of, and, and don't endure that pain, we've actually paid for the product. You know, for us to have fitter, healthier animals and f of the ease of which we can get those ewes and lambs back to the paddock after, you know, after they've had their animal health treatments, then that's a good thing. What we're doing is we're, we've looked at our landscape. We know our landscape and our environment. Um, there's areas on, on our farm that are particularly um, insulated or offer sanctuary for, for the ewes and lambs at that really important and stressful time which is when they reproduce. So we've developed a system called precision lambing which is short joinings and short lambings where we can actually maximise the use of the best environment on our farm. You know, we're really proud of the success of that and a lot of farmers have, in our area and RAM clients and that sort of thing have implemented it and, and they've, you know, they're, no one's turning back. You know, it's just working really well. And it doesn't matter what sort of environment you've got. You've always got the good, um, the bad and the average um, areas on your farm and it's just getting farmers to understand, you know, maybe I can put a system in place where I can maximise the use of the good parts of the farm. Mob size, um, we recognise the benefits of reducing mob size for multiple bearing ewes. Our twin bearing ewes lamb in mobs of less than 50 and have been doing that for over six years. Um, our triplet bearing ewes this year lambed in mob sizes of 14. Um, so we do that by using temporary electric fencing in some of those nice protected valleys. We even use some of the riparian zones just for a couple of weeks of the year where we've got nicely fenced off waterways that are re-vegged for really good lamb survival outcomes. It might sound a complicated system, but it's important that we have the right amount of grass, we have the right environment, we have the right mob size, we have the right privacy, and we have the right condition score of the ewes. Often to attain all that, you need to have some core disciplines and monitoring the condition score of your ewes at key times during the year is just integral to that, to, to make sure that your nutrition that you're feeding that ewe is, is adequate. Matching the feed to the animal demand all through the year is what it's all about. In regards to you know, managing your sheep to avoid events such as fly waves, yeah, it's, it's, it's really your timing of operation. So it's all about understanding your environment, probably reading the 
the tea leaves as far as um, the weather. For instance, we'll, we'll put our big mobs of wean ewes that are quite susceptible for, to body strike because they've got a lot, a lot of wool on them in the spring because we shear in, in late December, January. So being able to get them out of those sort of um, humid, moist, lush environments of, we might be in, a, in the gullies and put them on tops of hills where they can get a bit of wind under them and dry them out. and that certainly avoids a lot of body strike and things like that. This year we've got crutching trailers that come in and do our um, do our crutching in one foul swoop. We might be in the vicinity of six to 7,000 sheep getting crutched in a day. The infrastructure that we've built, we can handle that. Um, so that's a, a hell of a lot of sheep to go through a set of yards and be crutched and, and taken back to their paddock in one day. But it's, we've, you know, we can do it. You can't manage a grazing operation without addressing those basic principles of, of um, fencing to your land type and class. So we've got extremely small paddock sizes on this property where we are at the moment. You know, our average paddock size is, is less than seven hectares. Um, now, the reason for that is, is we're a gently undulating landscape that's, you know, cut up with waterways and creeks and valleys and, and, and tablelands and things like that. So it's very old school, but the old whole farm planning course that I did um, back in my early 20s, um, we still refer back to those basic principles. Lots of reticulated water, small paddocks, big mob grazing at different times of the year to manage your weeds, manage your pasture growth, your leaf area. They're all really paramount to um, running a successful grazing operation programs like Lifetime New Management, for instance, it's been such a positive effect on the sheep industry. The introduction of pain relief in, in a number of forms is a, is a real step forward. Doing those short courses in nutrition and being able to understand how to condition score and monitor the health of your flock is really important. Understanding the timing of operations, the t even the timing of lambing in relation to when, you, when you're growing your grass. They're simple things that can change that cost you no know, very little money, um, but can have some massive impacts on your profitability as a, as a business.